What's up guys, back with another video. I'm going to teach you how exactly you can hack any single player game and get away with it. This is just a guide on how exactly you can do it. We're going to be using Cheat Engine 6.7 because I can show you it easily because I've been doing this for years and I've been able to hack into Far Cry 5 many, many, many games by once I disable the anti-cheat anti -cheat software, I'm able to hack into the game and make it work. Um, a lot of times you have to do this when the game's offline because the um, because the anti cheat system will actually recognize it. Now, if a game has battle eye, I would highly recommend you to uh, avoid doing it. Uh, but for single player games, it's not that hard. So we're gonna go ahead and choose. Let's see what would be the best game. So we're gonna choose Fallout 4. I know they already have the console, but this is the simplest game and the fastest way for me to go ahead and teach you. Sorry, I keep hiccuping. Um, so what we're going to do is that we're going to click play, and we need to choose the process that is actually running the game. So here it is. Um, we need to find Fallout 4. Fallout 4. Uh, this doesn't really organize it that very well. It's going to be in the the logo it of it is going to be in here somewhere where is it probably going to be a bottom yeah it's right here all right so click enter For some reason the cursor is act um, my cursor is being drawn in from the game so there we go so the first scan we're going to set as all okay we're going to go ahead and load into the game um geez, go ahead um i'm not i'm not the least bit worried about um about it um, so we're going to go ahead and let the game load game audio is probably pretty loud um, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna do a money hack and we'll see if we can do a, a inventory hack too along with it um, inventory what we're gonna do is that we need to find a number so say for like ammo we can go ahead and hack that pretty easily um, and all we have to do is just drop the ammo onto the ground and then we'll you know what I mean that's what we'll do so Let's go to settings, uh, audio, turn that sucker down so you can hear me. Um, if we go to data or inventory, envy. Okay, we got four Molotov cocktails. So we'll, let's try doing that. Let's do Molotov cocktails. So there's a total of four. We're going to run the first scan. So it's going to run the scan and it's, gonna, it's going to check your check all the different codes and addresses and values through through the game and it's going to look for the number four so you're going to get a lot of results it might even go over a million results so i'm going to show you how to shorten it down and have it more broad and you'll have a very like your list will start shortening down pretty fast once uh, you do it my way I don't know if it lagged out, but what we're going to do is we're going to try to shorten the list down. So as you can see, we got over a million results. This can really, really lag you out. Um, I believe the faster the computer you have, the faster it can go through, uh, through the codes. So we're going to decrease the value by, and we're going to choose one. So it would be three. So you need to know a couple, a little bit of math. So we're going to drop one, switch back out. Next scan, look at that. We got two from literally one million. We went all the way down to two, 211. So that's how you shorten it down pretty fast. So we're going to increase by one. So we need to go into the game and pick it up. Pick up Molotov cocktail. Confirm that it's four. Okay, it's four. Increase by one. 56. So it can be any of these. Um, it's not shortened down enough, so let's decrease the value by two instead. So let's go one, two, values now. Open, is the value two? Yep, values two. 
Okay, so it can't be these 2.5, so it's got to be these two. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag them to the list down here. We're going to change record value. Let's try 6,000 and see what it does. Okay, so if we close it, load it, so it didn't change. But if we pick them up, there we go, 6,001. The value, basically what we're doing is that in order the value for it to change, an event has to happen in order for it to change because it knows it's that new value, but it won't display until you until you, um, until you you add in. Sometimes uh, in some games, they'll change immediately. So if I go ahead and uh, I don't know what button it is to throw Molotov cocktails. Control. Where's grenade? Doesn't say. So we can also do the same thing with with uh, bullets. So as you can see, I have nine bullets. So we're going to start it off with 12, and then we're going to see if we can freeze the value and turn it, turning it into an infinite ammo. So let's see what we got. So we got 12 right now. That dog is being retarded. I don't want that door open. All right, so we're going to search in through 12, and then what we're going to do is we're going to freeze it, which I hopefully I remember this one right. Usually what I do through games is that I don't really hack with like God mode and stuff. I don't really mess with that really. Um, because God mode is more of like an advanced um, an advanced kind of hack um, for some for most users because you actually have to figure out what the default value is like the max value and then you have to make sure that the value stays the same and does not move at all because sometimes if you do in Call of Duty um, it will change. So we got 1,722 so on 12 so if we fire four times one two three four decrease value by four we got 33 it looks like so let's do four more one two three four so you're gonna have four again Okay, so now we need to reload and it should should change right in there. Reload, so it'll be plus eight, plus twelve. Okay, we got twelve, 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 so twelve, add to value selection, and then we're going to freeze them using the check mark box and hopefully that works. So let's see what happens. It froze that value, but it did, but the problem is it's taking the ammo out of the uh, like I don't have to reload ever, <laughs> but it's taking the it's taking the ammo out of the inventory. It's got to use some. It, it looks like the game is coded so that in case this kind of event happens, it's going to take ammo from somewhere. As you can see, did it really? Uh, can't have gotten unlimited now. That doesn't make sense. Junk mods ammo. I guess it made. I guess it must have made up. I'm not too certain why it's 99 now. I would have ran out of ammo by now. Well, I guess this is the infinite ammo. There you go. So I'm gonna. I'll just show you how to do it for God mode. So, okay, hit points right here. This is what you need. So, say for example, my current value is 56 on my health. I need to hurt myself to get it lower, but I have to hurt myself enough that it's not going to kill me. <laughs> so that's why God mode's a little bit of a pain. Um, trying to, oops. So in, in a game like Fallout, you could just type in God mode or Or something. I don't remember. I don't remember what it's called. You can actually load the console in little God mode. You can actually do it through there. You don't have to make it. But that's that's basically how it's done. It's not that hard to do. It's just 
you have to put in the time into doing it. Um, that's basically how you do it. You base you hurt yourself enough so that you can get it to work. Now, if you have any questions on certain games, you can leave a comment in my um, in my YouTube on difficult in some games like say for example how did you do it on Far Cry 5 now for Far Cry 5 there was back when the game was released someone really set a file that disabled the anti cheat system in Far Cry 5 so what I did is I disabled it and then I edited the amount of money that I had in my game allocated to me so if I can I can go ahead and show you I don't care if I get in trouble for this because I just don't care it's just, I don't even play Far Cry anymore so so what I did is that I had to drag and drop these files into my execution and execution files, and then once I drag and dropped them, I went in, I went ahead and um, what was it? I um, loaded up the game again, and then the anti cheat was completely shut off. Once it was completely shut off, then I just went into the game went into the game and did all my uh, hacking, and then I got out of the game and I was done. Now, money is a thing in Far Cry that is very hard to grind onto on PC. And for console, you know, it's really hard to grind. So that's why I just, you know, I hold, you, usually in most games I'll hack the money and then, and then I'll call it that. I won't do anything else. Now, the game just might recognize that, and that, um, that cheat engine is loaded. So hopefully I didn't leave it open because... There are some games that don't even allow you to have cheat engine loaded, so yeah, easy anti cheat. That's what that's what I had to disable in order for it to work. I had to completely disable easy anti cheat in order for um in order for me to hack the game because e easy anti cheat recognized recognized me like immediately once I loaded up cheat engine because a lot of these anti cheats they'll actually look through your um look through your files. And look through what programs are loaded, and if it recognizes something that it doesn't like, it will refuse to load the game. I know that Battle Eye, I believe they're starting to do that a little more, which really sucks, but you know, they're locking down on all the cheaters and stuff because of PUBG and ever and since they're gonna be doing that, then they might as well go ahead and look through your look through your uh, loaded programs. Which they have done that. So as, as you can see right here, 529,882, that was hacked. This money here, you cannot hack because this is based off of like, it gets pulled off of the server. So you can't hack that. I can change the value, but it won't stick. This will stick because this is localized. So anyways, guys, that will be it. If you have any questions on like what, how to do a certain game, just, you know, just ask me and I'll teach, I'll tell you how to do it. Um, some games might be a little bit different. Um, if someone knows how to hack a certain game and you know how to, and someone asks how to do it, just help them out because sometimes, uh, it's, it's a money hack going to hurt anybody. Money hacks are, they're not going to affect anybody because you're only doing it temporarily and then, and then you're out and then that's it. It's not going to affect the, uh, quality of the game. You're just affecting your gameplay experience you know by not having the struggle of finding money and stuff but anyways guys hit me the like and subscribe button and i'll see you guys on the next one